different. I only have a second to make this video because I live in the real world. We're on this job right now cleaning these windows in beautiful Birmingham, Michigan. It was an Angie's List deal, but we got there and it's $60 more expensive than the customer uh, expected. And it would be a lot more if I charge them extra because they have all these little individual mullions, like French panes, and I don't want to take them off because I don't want to damage them. This is 199 bucks to clean the glass inside and out plus screens. I think it should be 300 bucks or more, but the customer bought a $139 or $139 Angie's List deal. I'm not saying that I can't, but I've already, um, you know, had to reschedule this job. I don't want to piss off the customer, and so there will be a little wussy wuss, you know, buckle. Little, what are you supposed to do? Walk us? Nope. Nope. This is going to be $684. This, 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 and all these little microscopic things that you see, you just tally them up on a big list and tell them to the customer. Nope. It's going to be $684 to clean your windows, or we can't clean them today, or we're leaving. I haven't got past that point yet. I got it up by 60 more bucks. You know, I'm still going to make 120 bucks off this job. But, um, like I said, I got a buddy who... I mean, he power washes a house on a deal. He stops at that amount of square feet, and he leaves it unfinished. He calls the customer, hey, if you want it done, it's going to be more. <laughs> it, like, literally stops at that point. And, and, and uh, I can't wait to get to that. Oh, fuck, it's so hard to upload these videos because it's so, so true. The little, All the things that you go through in your business, like, uh, I like to put it all out there. I, I know I've come along far, far, and some of you that watch this that are just getting started have not even experienced it all. You're like, dude, I just want to get jobs. I just want to get jobs. That's really cool. It's kind of like, this is what it's like. You're begging for a piece of pizza because you're starving to death. Please, I'm starving. I'll eat anything. I don't care. It could be just cheese on bread with no sauce. And then as soon as you get the pizza, you go, no, I'm not eating this unless it has pepperoni and sausage. What the fuck? You were begging for the pizza pizza and I, yeah, it's like, that's the name of the game. Do you know anybody like that? They'll bag and bag and bag and as soon as you give, it's not good enough. So I think all emotions aside, if it's just a mathematical equation, to me, it's, I don't have the time to come out and, and physically quote every window cleaning job. So there's always that buffer, that percentage in there where you win some, you lose some. But you're not losing because you're still making money. But, you know, as long as I keep making my numbers every day, I'm okay. We all want to be rich as hell. I don't want to be rich. I just want to be okay. Whatever. <sighs> what am I bitching about? Today's a good day. The leaves are falling. Make sure you start advertising lots of gutter cleanings. Uh, if you don't know anything about gutter cleaning and you don't have the proper tools and ladders and you're afraid of heights, do not say yes to a big-ass two- or three-story house with crazy high-pitched roofs that you can't do the gutter sign because you're going to look like a dumbass. Say yes to lots of ranch homes. Raise your prices. I just sold a gutter clean job over the phone for 150 bucks for a ranch house. Normally we charge 85 bucks, but that's only if we're already on the property, right? So minimum of 150 bucks. If it's local, 85 bucks. But you gotta make your $85 an hour. So what do you charge for yourself? I gotta make at least 45 bucks an hour when I work. That's gross. So me and another guy work today, we have to hit 85 bucks an hour. Do we do that every hour? No. But every time I look at the numbers throughout the week, I'm like, fuck, we didn't, I didn't make any money Monday or Tuesday. Oh, my God, I'm so fucked. I don't do that. But And then what happens Thursday, we'll get a job that just puts us right into the green. And then Friday won't be so good. And then Saturday, I'll go hit a little home run. We do tree trimming and shit. Or it could be, a, you know, a window cleaning job that I'll make, you know, 350 bucks off a house. And it takes us, you know, just till 11 a.m. And that's where I made that money back. And it goes like this. But when you have uh, like a vital stats dashboard, like QuickBooks, or you could do it in Excel, and you could do it by home every week on math and monthly and quarterly, you begin to see, oh, so this is my 
see, I'm losing my words because I gotta get out there and start cleaning these windows. I should just take a fucking, uh, like a fish pole and hook up a GoPro to my head. And just, just talk in the house, <laughs> fucking cleaning windows live right in front of the ghost mirror. Hi, Fuck, I gotta get this done. Alright, peace. Hey, thank you for watching this video. And I have a brand new audio book out called How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. It's a very descriptive, in-depth audio book. There's tons of information in it that'll help you navigate through the minefield if you're new in the business and you want to learn about marketing, how to get into residential homes. There's bonus side commentary that's not in the paperback book. There's a lot of good stuff in there. If, if you want to check it out, I think you really benefit from it. So I'll put a link in the description below for you if you want to check it out.